had a wonderful season and has rightly been awarded the 2008 NRB AFL Rising Star Award. We're speaking, listeners, of Reese Palmer from the Fremantle Football Club. Congratulations, young man. Well done on a great season. Thanks, mate. No, it's a real honour to receive this award. So, no, it's been a good day. Mate, did you look? Did you ever believe that you could have had as much impact as you've had? I mean, it's been a remarkable season. 462 possessions, mate, by anyone's standards, is 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 an outstanding year. It doesn't matter whether you're a, a first year player or a seasoned campaigner. Yeah, no. Um, like I said, at the start of the year, I was just I was just hoping to play a few games and really develop and learn more about the game and um and to develop my game. And but um, no, to come away and play 20 games and have a bit of an impact on on the team I've been really pleased with. Nine, there were nine judges, mate, and uh, eight of them gave you BOG, gave you five votes. Uh, and the, the bloke who didn't, Adrian Anderson, he follows Hawthorne anyway, he gave it a Surioli, so yeah. pretty unanimous, that, pretty unanimous by the judges. Yeah, no, I had a bit of a chat to him, and uh, no, he said he was sorry, and <laughs> no. <he's... laughs> hey, mate, what about uh, what about the stats? Carl's giving you the stats. You've averaged 23 possessions in your first year. It's just staggering. You've gone past Nathan Buckley in 1993 when he won. That must fill you with confidence. Yeah, no, oh, obviously, huge rap to be put in the same sentence as Nathan Buckley. He's a he's a great player, but um, yeah, no, it's like I've been lucky. To pick up a few possessions along the way. The boys down at three have been real great and they're just backing me in, so it's given me a lot of confidence just to go out there and, and play my own game. Did you enjoy your football more as the season went on? I mean, even though you weren't winning games, you certainly were playing some, some reasonable footy. Uh, you got very close in a lot of games without winning. How, how did you see your season as a young bloke coming into the system at the club? Yeah, no, it was, it was really exciting, first of all, just to play a few games. But once I played a few games, I really wanted to, to, the team to succeed. And um, it started getting a bit disappointing when we were losing a few close games. But towards the end of the season, we really started to play some good footy. We, our middle and stoppage work got was really starting to get real better. And no, it was good fun and um, to win a few games in the end. And to finish on a good night on Friday night, but we'll beating Collingwood, yeah, it was a real good end to the season. Yeah, you, you're amazing in some ways because um, young blokes generally have up and down years and, you know, they have flat spots. You didn't really have one. I know that towards the end of the year they tried to rest you. Um, t talk us through that and, and were, you, were you happy with that and then you fired up at the end of the season as well? Yeah, no, the coaches were great. They really rested me throughout the season. Just It was more during the week when I, my body was real sore. They rested me and didn't, didn't want me training or anything. But, um, no, I tried to make a real point of... Um, playing good footy towards the end of the season. A lot of people said that um, good young boys, they play it well early, but then they finish off real slow. And I want to make a real point of playing some good footy towards the end mm. of the season. And, um, yeah, no, nah, so they did that a lot. The thing that I liked was that, exactly like you said, they gave you more responsibility and you accepted it and, and you went on with it. And uh, by the end of it, you were sort of the man that Sandy Lands was going to. You were sort of not so much calling the plays as being the go-to player in the middle, which is it's it's a big honour, isn't it? Because you do get hammered and they, they target you. Yeah, no, nah, it, is, it is a big role in that one. So I was alone. We still had Warren Shamu stepped up and started to play some good footy and Josh Carr, so... I wasn't in there by myself, but no, it gave us a huge opportunity for some of the young boys to really come through and show what they've got. And um, I think Fremantle's in good hands with quite a, a few good boys coming through the ring. Mm. The votes went Palmer, Rioli, Cochin, Cruiser, Ibbotson, McKinley from the Eagles and Nathan Brown. Uh, good to see Garrick Ibbotson get a few votes too. Uh, he's, he had a great season. No, he did. He's really stepped up this season. He's just another one of those young boys coming through. Fremantle who's just really going to be a good player, so it's exciting times. Your manager Colin Young's been on the phone already, so I told him we were going to interview, and he said, uh, "Well, tell him he hasn't returned my calls, will you? I mean, has he forgotten I'm still his manager?" <laughs> <laughs> no, he's all right. I'll give him a call now and see how he's gone. But it, it, the other thing is too, Reese, is the one thing that really impressed me, mate, um, was not the amount of possessions that you got, which Barra said was 23 a game, but it's how you got them. And you know, there was just, just a real couple of hard highlights in that last game, mm. even that will stay with me for a, a lot longer than even other moments throughout the season but when you fully committed yourself I mean you're not scared to go in mate and, and that's something that you know I, I like to see young blokes do is actually go in and try and win the footy rather than be squawking around the outside so to speak Yeah for sure Haas, Haas loves the people who are in and under and um, don't hold back sort of thing so that's what I've tried to do to 
to keep my sport in the team. Well, is it down at Bull Creek Leaming, mate? Because it's been a really successful breeding ground for AFL players, and you've just added to the list. Yeah, no, Bull Creek Leaming, they're a great junior junior club. They've got um, some great development programs down there and great people just running running it. And, no, it's been a bit lucky. It's a, it's a huge area, the Bull Creek Leaming district. And, um, no, they've had some... Great players go through there. Do they do things differently, like from a really young age, in, in those sorts of programs? Um, I think they just really look after you and um, they really take pride in trying to help you out and stuff. So I think that's where they sort of rise up between anyone else. So who did you look up to when you were coming through? Was it because I think you had Benny Cousins come through there and Simon Black and Woe Woden and those sort of blokes. Um, was there someone that you sort of uh, kept an eye on? Yeah, for sure. I loved Robert Harvey. I, I was growing up, I was about eight, nine, I remember remember him winning the Brownlow medal so I always followed him and I just admired the way he could keep running and step up in big games and just keep finding the footy. And what about your mate Chris Marston? I know he's at the Eagles and you both got drafted around the same time and people were debating whether you know, the Eagles should have got you or, the, or, the, or, they, or they'd made a blue by not getting you. Um, you. You've got one up on him now, you better give him a, a bit of a touch up, give him a ring up and tell him, hey where's your Rising Star medal? Yeah, nah, nah, he's a good kid and um, we get along real well and I'm sure once he gets over his injury he's going to come out and play some good footy and he's going to be a good player in the long term. Now what did you win? When you're the NAB AFL Rising Star, is it good? Yeah, nah, it's good. You get a nice little medal and um, I think you get a bit of money and they give you a bit of money, so no, nah, it's not, not looking too bad. <laughs> it's going beautifully, isn't it? And then you're going to come straight back and uh, you were on crutches the other day at Mad Monday. Is everything all right? Yeah, no, I just got a bit of tear in my foot. Um, I heard it 10 minutes ago on Friday night, and um, I should be sweet. No surgery? No, nah, no surgery at all. I'll be, able to, I'll be off the crutches in a couple of weeks, and um, I'll be fine. Well, mate, enjoy the plane trip home. Thanks very much for joining us tonight here on Sports Central in Perth. We really appreciate it, and congratulations once again. Thanks a lot, fellas.